everyone, welcome to my vlog about a mouse I found in an alley. You can probably hear the music that's blasting from downstairs, uh, and I would film at a different time if I thought it would be any better, but it's either loud music or listening to them blow their nose for 45 minutes at top volume. So I thought this would be possibly a little better. I'm not trying to shade my neighbors downstairs, but I think that they are the loudest people that I've ever met in my life. Also, if you're wondering, Alice, why do you look like a Victorian child that's sickly and wasting away from diphtheria? I'm not wearing makeup. I don't want to hear about it. I like my butt. We're not here to talk about those things. We're here to talk about a mouse. I was on my way back from grocery shopping and I was on the phone with what's probably one of my biggest clients that I've ever had or ever will have. And I found this little tiny mouse and she just, she wasn't moving. Um, I thought she was dead at first. She had her little head stuck in a crevice in the ground. So I had to like stop the person that I was on the phone with. And I bent down and I checked on her and I could see like a little teeny tiny bit of breathing. I like poked her a little bit just to see because most mice will scurry away. I was waiting for her to scurry. She didn't scurry. So I grabbed an envelope out of my backpack and I kind of scooped her up and she was still breathing. She was still definitely at least a little bit alive, but she just was like limp and she just let herself fall into the envelope and wasn't panicking, was just just very limp. And so I brought her in and I was thinking like, man, at the very least I can bring her someplace warm for her to die. So I didn't film anything from when I first brought her in because I didn't plan on posting it anywhere. I didn't plan on being like, look at this mouse that I brought inside to die. Um, because she wasn't putting weight on her little feet. If she if she happened to like wobble a little bit and she fell on her face, she would just like stay on her face. So we would kind of like rearrange her with Q-tips so that she's a little more comfortable. Um, and then we started giving her little droppers of water. And then very slowly, she sort of started to be able to, to move around and to pull herself around with her little feetsies. We gave her, uh, what we give her? We gave her some like buckwheat tea that I had. She ate some buckwheat, um, some little cheese chips, um, a little bit of brie cheese that I happen to have that I never have and I bought it on a complete whim. Like I never have cheese, I don't really like it. And I was like, I'm in the mood for brie. And then I ended up just giving the brie to the mouse. So I never really ate it. She just started being able to sit up on her hinders and wash her little face. And so I've had her for about a week now, I think. And I kind of thought that at a certain point she was doing so well. I was like, maybe we'll rehabilitate her enough that, um, you know, we'll be able to release her again. But she's, she's not good at walking. She's very bad at it. I think she's either pregnant or she has a tumor. Um, I unfortunately think it's more likely at this point that she has a tumor because she's not good at walking and she'll walk a little bit and then she'll fall and roll onto her back and then roll back over and keep walking. Um, so I might just kind of keep her until, I don't know how long she'll live with a tumor, but I just want to keep her comfortable and warm and happy because it's been so rainy here in California. So I just want to keep her dry, keep her warm, keep her happy, keep her well fed. Um, yeah, that's kind of my mouse story. I haven't really named her. People are asking me what her name is. I've just been kind of calling her Little Mouse, but as of today, I'm calling her Miss Wobbles or Little Miss Wobbles. One of the nicest things that happened with this was I came in holding this little envelope with this poor little mouse on her side. and. Uh, my boyfriend was sitting at his computer and I was like, Terry, I have a little mouse, it's hurt. There was like a half a beat where he looked at me and I saw just this like a little, little tiny bit of exasperation, but it was so fleeting. It was like a half a beat. And then he was like, okay. And he grabbed one of my hand warmers and he put it in the microwave and started heating it up so that we could get the mouse warmed up and like keep her from getting hypothermia. Um, I just thought it was the sweetest thing. There was just like such a quick moment of, are you kidding me? And then he just instantly transitioned into, okay, let's help the mouse. So anyway, that's my mouse story. Um, oh, if anyone knows anything about taking care of mice um, or like mice tumors or re rehabilitating mice, I would love some input. I am trying to keep her as separate as I can from my cat because I don't know, this was a wild mouse, I don't know what sort of sicknesses or diseases this mouse might have. 
Um, so I'm, I'm doing that. But if you know anything else, please let me know in the comments or, or email me or get in touch with me somehow. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other name suggestions aside from Little Miss Wobbles because it's not very dignified. And I feel she's a tough cookie and deserves a little more dignified name than that. But yeah, just let me know. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. So I just finished editing this video and it was really interesting for me actually. I guess I had just forgotten how how poorly she was moving before when we brought her in. And yeah, I just, uh, I just feel so proud of her. She's so tough. She's such a little thing and she's so tough and I, I just feel so happy about how far she's come and how much better she's gotten and even though she's still very wobbly like I'm so impressed with the fact that she can walk at all um, and that she's still kicking so I'm just really happy that's all okay goodbye for real